Welcome back to Security Simplified. Last time we talked about CSRF or cross-site request forger vulnerabilities. The criticality of a CSR vulnerabilities depend heavily on where the vulnerability is located. Sometimes faulty CSR protection mechanisms lead to inconsequential issues like unauthorized setting changes or emptying a user's cart. Other times they lead to much bigger issues user information leak, XSS, or even one-click account takeovers. Today, let's talk about a few cases that I have encountered in the wild of CSRFs leading to se severe security issues. Often, these are a combination of CSRF and other minor design flaws. Want to get rewarded for finding security bugs like this one? Integrity is a bug bounty platform that pays you for reporting security vulnerabilities. With more than 100 public and private targets to test your skills on, you can test your hacking skills on real targets legally and get rewarded for it. Sign up now with the link in the description. CSRF sometimes causes information leaks as a side effect. Applications often send or disclose information according to user preferences. If these setting endpoints are not protected from CSRFs, they can pave the way to sensitive information disclosures. One way of achieving CSRF-based info leaks is to play with these requests. For example, a paid service on a web app that I have worked on sends monthly billing emails to user-designated email addresses. These emails include the street address, phone numbers, and credit card information of that user. The email addresses to which these billing emails are sent can be changed via this request. While the CSR validation on this endpoint was broken, the server accepts a blank token and the request would succeed even if the token field is empty. The attacker can make a victim send this request, and all future billing emails would then be sent to the attacker's email until the victim notices the unauthorized change. This would leak the street address, phone numbers, and credit card information of the victim to the attacker. CSRFs can also help turn a self-XSS into a stored XSS. Self-XSS is almost always regarded by security teams as a non-issue because they are so difficult to exploit. However, when combined with a CSRF, self-XSS can often be turned into a stored XSS. For example, on a financial site that I have come across, users are given the ability to create nicknames for each of their linked bank accounts. The account nickname field is vulnerable to self-XSS. There is no sanitization, validation, or escaping for the user input on this field. However, this is a field that only authorized users can edit and see. So there is no way for an attacker to trigger that XSS directly. And unfortunately, a CSR bug also exists on the endpoint used to change the account nicknames. The application does not properly validate the existence of a CSRF token, so simply omitting the token parameter in the request will bypass CSRF protection. This request would fail. While this request would successfully change the user's account nickname and store the XSS payload on the victim's page. The next time a user logs into the account and view her dashboard, the XSS will be triggered. And finally, CSRF accounts for some of the easiest account takeovers that I have discovered. And these situations are not uncommon either. Account takeover issues occur when there is a CSRF issue in an account validating functionality like creating password, changing the password, changing email addresses, or resetting the password. For example, here's a bug that I've discovered in the client's web app. The web app allows social media signups. And after a user signs up via social media, they have the option to set a password via this request. Since the user signed up via their social media account, no old password is needed to set the new password. So if CSR protection fails on this endpoint, an attacker would have the ability to set a password for anyone who signed up via their social media account who has not set a password. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened on this particular endpoint. 
The application does not validate the CSR of token properly and accepts an empty value as the CSR of token parameter. So essentially, the following request will, send the, will set the password of anyone who doesn't already have the password to the attacker's password. Now all the attacker has to do is to embed this request on pages frequented by users of that site. And then she can automatically assign the password of any user who visits those pages to the attacker's password. After that, the attacker is free to log in as any victim with their newly assigned password. While the majority of CSRFs that I have encountered prove to be low severity issues, sometimes an oversight on critical endpoints can lead to severe consequences. If you're a developer, Pay extra attention to the CSR protection mechanisms deployed on critical endpoints. And if you are a pen tester, think about what role the functionality plays in the context of the entire application when you encounter a CSRF. How does the endpoint affect the rest of the application? And how could you escalate the vulnerability based on that knowledge? Thanks for watching. See you next time.